Hi, uh, I live on this street and um, we're very concerned about this water thing that they have here. It doesn't appear that that uh, pump is working because they have put this little thing across the street, this little bump thing that actually should be underneath the ground, a big enough one to cover this because the, the uh, basin is already half full in just a couple hours of rain yesterday. Um, we're not blaming the city of Hammett. We're blaming the municipalities of the federal government in the sense that the Corps of Engineers in 1980, in October 1980, built this basin, never thought about finishing it because they had all this stuff to do. This is the biggest one of the basins that is here. There's 41 different basins, but this is the one that's hooked up to all the different connections from the city of... Uh, uh, no, San Jacinto and just different ones that are all running congruently at the same time coming here. That's what the Corps Engineers has done so that they can try to work with the, the uh, states to get things done. What we have proposed to the county uh, by writing letters to all the different people that are responsible is meet with us at the basin so you can see what we have a problem with that we pay uh, monthly through our water bill, I think it's like $3.16 a, a month, which is like $40, $38 a year. And we want to know what you're doing with that money to fix the basin. This street right here, this is Costum. Uh, Costum. This is the main street going one block away from one of the schools and two other schools down the street, which we'll show you later. And can you pan over and just show the basic street over there where you're gonna have you're gonna have so many cars coming here on a on a day when you're dropping off the kids that the fire department is at the end of the street there which is what the uh, yeah and the fire department if there's an emergency at the school they won't be able to cross here because what they normally do is they'll block off this whole street so you have to come all the way go all the way around in a real emergency and that's one of our bases. They have the right of way. The Corps engineers that put this in here have the right of way. They can come anytime they get ready and just bring it in here. You can see they have they have uh, they have the right they have the right to come across here. It's called the right of way. And instead of them using it, I have no idea why not. So some of us have petitioned the federal government to actually act on this, and we actually have a case number and. As I said before, we're not blaming Hemet directly, other than the fact that they're not fighting uh, a legal fight. They won't meet with us to actually talk to us about what we can do that they don't want to do or can't do. And it's kind of like, just really weird. Is there anything else we're missing, Julian? Uh, looking up the street here at the stoplight is actually Menlo and Coston uh, Street. At Menlo and Coston is the elementary school which is in a high risk flood zone area. And we'll show you uh, coming up, like he says, the three schools, but at the stoplight to the right is Coston Elementary School. If you continue up Coston past the red light, you'll come up to, in about three blocks or so, you'll come up to uh, middle school, which is, uh, I believe it, but which, this is, which middle school? It's, it's the Rancho Viejo Middle School. And across from Rancho Viejo Middle School is horses. It's a horse stable. And you can just imagine with all this rain coming down, uh, the feces uh, roll off from that and continue up from uh, Rancho Viejo Middle School, another block, just a block or two blocks, is the high school, which is Takis High School and they are across from a cow farm. So you can imagine all the horses and the cows, uh, feces running off, and also you see the, the, the elevations of these schools, how they get uh, flooded themselves. So that's what I'm gonna be uh, showing you as we continue with this. Yeah, you know, they talk about Hemet. Hemet's doing a great job with his fire department that they're trying where they could have gone to the county, uh, to the, uh, um, forest thing they were going to use the forest uh, thing to be part of the fire department the Hemet police department doing a great job 
The city of Hemet, to me, from what I get out of the uh, state auditor was saying, is one of six cities potentially at high risk financially. That's true in a way, but that's because of the governor cutting the money and doing some stuff. So give Hemet a break. But the, the purpose of this whole thing that we're showing to uh, Hemet News is not to say anything bad about anybody. We just want some action done here at the basin. And we think it's ridiculous to not fix the schools in a flood zone and to have flooding all over the place when you could simply fix some of the issues just temporarily in order to not block off this street and not be able to do stuff. Um, one of their baseball field when it rains you see the elevation goes downward so all the water all this becomes a little river there is no drainage system at all it just sits there all this stuff from the mountains come down back this way right into this system right here. All this is a drain system, supposedly. There's no water getting out, it just has to drain through the ground. Can you see over there? The solar system, right there. All of this is a drain system. It's supposed to be hooked up to another system that hasn't been done yet. So right now, that's what we're doing. And all the water that comes in here comes from the false carbon stream. And I was here the other day and they filled up the whole spot over there. This is only from one day over maybe three hours of rain. It's already filled up the basin and over here. So you can imagine for two or three more days. 
because they're all been um, watersheded like out. So they can't use the property over there. You'll see bags and stuff all over here when we get, when we get past another point. So this was another disaster. Across the street over there, same thing. All that water comes in. to the right. If you didn't hear it, they're not usable because no one wants to live over there when yeah, all the so flooding all comes down from the It's not going to be used until they put in some kind of a drainage system. This whole place is flooded. This electrical stuff will be flooded. All of this is it's like red tape. It's basically useless. I don't even know how to see all the red, see all the pipes, uh, the bags way up on the hill up there. All this place is just messed up. And this is right across from the school. Look at that. All this property just sitting here. Look at that. All this is going to be underwater. On the road here. You won't be able to come here or do anything. That property is the one that the guy owns that we're not coming across. Proper procedure, so it's just gonna sit there, and they can put that little pump across, and they can put a pump and do it right. So that's what is up there. Now, mind you, this is right across from the school. This road, yeah, this road is right across from that school. What's the school again? Costum Elementary. Costum Elementary. Which is at Menlo and Costum. Yeah. Well, you can see over there, all that, all this stuff over there, which we're going to show you a little bit better later, but we're just letting you know what what this means for just one day, one day of a little rain. We already have this problem. So you can imagine what they're going to do when it rains for two or three days. If it does, they'll need to come. So, they're really kind of concerned with hope.
be blocked off right here. This little stuff they put on here is not gonna work. It's gonna have to be blocked off. So keep going, I wanna show you. Another piece behind me. Okay. Now this is on Seattle Street right here. Yesterday I got some pictures of this here. You can see in the car there's a deep call. Left hand turn. He took this much water up in the air. All the other windows go with the car with the gutter. All these are all black green. And over there you can see where the water is coming out. I see that guy is real prepared right here. Yeah, some guy is really thinking about what he got to do. He knows what he's doing. Well, he thinks he knows what he's doing. You know, but... Uh, the only way you can use this thing is to see all this property. See how high that, that bridge is over there, Eddie? Yeah, I know, but we're going to turn around. We're gonna go. All this water comes from all these properties in here. It goes in here, it goes over there. And all that water that comes from over there comes from the road. So we're going to stop right here. Right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. All those other ones underground come into this one. And then on the other side of the street, this one goes in. We need to do the basin, have it concreted. First of all, trees are not allowed in a basin, even a drainage basin. And if you have a basin that is a drainage system, you're gonna have trees gonna fall in there, they're gonna clog up the system down there. Now these walls over here, they're, they've been eroding for a long time. They're gonna erode eventually to the place where it's gonna get even worse. And they need to concrete this basin. It's a big enough basin. See the, the drainage thing over there with the basin at the end over there? They're gonna have to concrete this whole basin and actually dig it down and put it right or else it's never gonna work. And that's why you have the, the uh, outlet over there coming in. They're gonna have to concrete all that to make it stabilized. Otherwise, they're gonna have all this clogging and uh, it, it shouldn't be like that. So that's what, that's what our complaint is. Our complaint is that they need to just take care of it right. good deal on those walls man those walls those walls get flooded like that they're coming down 